Hey, hello and welcome to today's GFG problem of the day. Uh, consecutive ones not allowed. Let's see what the problem has to say. Given a positive integer n, count all possible distinct binary strings of length n such that there are no consecutive ones. Output your answer modulo 10 raised to 9 plus 7. Okay. So if you see, let's see uh, some examples, right? If n is equal to 3, right? So what all possible binary strings can be formed wherein there are no consecutive ones, right? There are no consecutive. When we say consecutive ones like, uh, like this, if n equal to 3, right? If n equal to 3. So this should not, we should not output this, right? Okay. Or like, or this one, or this one, right? So no consecutive ones should be uh, a part of the output, right? So so without, so, so what are the uh, combination of binary strings? For n equal to 3, it is these five strings, right? There are no consecutive ones in this. Similarly, if you see n equal to 2, right? What what all possible uh, binary strings we can have? 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, uh, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, right? So, so this is not possible, right? As we don't have to uh, like output the consecutive ones. So the possible binary strings are these three strings, right? Okay. So now how we can uh, solve this problem, right? So let's see. Uh, let's let's try to find some pattern. Okay, let's try to find some pattern. Uh, okay, so let's say if it is n equal to one, right? If it is n equal to one, so what are the possible strings, right? Without consecutive ones, definitely if, if n is one, then there are two possible strings, right? Two possible strings here. One is zero and one, right? Zero and one. <clears throat> now, if it is n equal to two, so what we'll do? So there are two, for, for n equal to one, there were two strings. So what we'll do, uh, we'll use the previous, right? Previous two string, previous, previous two, right? Uh, the, the two strings of the previous n equal to one, right? And what we'll do, we'll simply append zero, n, zero, one, right? So, right? And this one, and what we can do now, we have to append if n, when n, n equal to two, right? So we have to append uh, uh, zero and one. To the previous one so what we are going to do to the previous n right whatever is the previous n right so what we're going to do to the new n to the to the current n we are going to append 0 and 1 if we are going to see in that way right so if it is n equal to 2 right so we'll take the previous two strings previous this previous strings and then we're simply going to append 0 0 and here for this one to append now we, are, we want to append 1 as well right so 0 and 1 we cannot use this one right because if we use 1 1 so it is going to be consecutive one. So we, are, we cannot use this one, right? So let's see for n equal to three. So what we'll do, we'll have all these strings, right? Of the previous n. We'll write here 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 1, right? And simply we can append 0, 0, 0 without any, um, right? Uh, right? 0, 0 to all the previous strings, right? And how we can make ones, we can append ones. Let's see, we are going to use Definitely this ones because right the last uh, character is zero only right so we can use without any hesitation zero zero one zero and one right but this one we cannot use right zero one we cannot use because because it will be consecutive ones right so if you see n equal to four again we'll take all these strings all the strings for n equal to four right without any hesitation, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. And simply we are going to append zeros, right? And for, for the ones we can, we can only take the zero count, uh, the, the, this, this part, this particular part, right? So what you're going to do, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, right? And simply you can append 1, 1, 1. We cannot use this ones because it will lead to consecutive ones, right? So if you see the pattern, if you see the pattern, what we are doing is for the current n, for the current n, we are to append zero. For the current n, what we need to do, we have to take all the strings of the previous n, all the strings of previous n, and we can append zero easily to them, right? See, if we took previous strings, all the previous strings, zero, one, right? Zero, one in this case, and we appended zero. And for one, for appending one, we can only take strings ending with zero. 
we can take strings only ending with zero. So zero one. You see here as well, right? So what were the possible strings? There were three possible strings of the previous n, right? Previous n zero 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 one zero zero one zero zero one zero zero one, and we are appending zeros to all, right? But for the ones for appending ones, we are only taking the strings which end with zero, right? The strings which end with zero. So if you see here is a code, right? So first what we do is n for n equal to one, right? We are taking initial n equal to one. So zero count, as you know, this n equal to one, it is, there are two strings, zero and one. Zero count, one count, right? One, one. And if n equal to one, simply we'll return two because, right? So one and one are the two strings, right? One and, uh, sorry, zero and one are the two strings, right? For n equal to one, right? If n is greater than one, then what we are going to do is, we are going to have this uh, count, basically, the count of all the strings of all the strings of length n of all the strings of length n without consecutive ones right so this is the sum so initially we'll start with i equal to 2 right so when i equal to 2 0 count and 1 count sum becomes 2 sum becomes 2 so if you see i equal to 2 if it is then what we are doing how many strings are there uh, 0 0 1 0 and 0 uh, 0 1 is there right for n equal to 2 but for previous previous n, right? We, n equal to one. What was the previous n? The sum will be two, right? Sum will be two. So previous n we are storing here first, right? And then what we are doing? So so if you see the pattern, right? If you see the pattern for n equal to two, right? What was the one count for n equal to two? The one count we appended, we appended, right? One to the strings to the strings of the previous n. Right to the strings of previous and ending with zero. So if you see one count will be here. The previous uh, the previous uh, strings ending with zero, right? So here one count we are adding zero count, right? Zero count is what initially for i equal to two zero count becomes one. W one count becomes one, and zero count what will be zero count will be so all the strings, right? All the strings of the previous n, right? So previous n, right? It is some sum, right? And what is sum? Sum is two. So zero count has become two. And for i equal to two, right? If n equal to two, right? I equal to two, sum equal to one count plus zero count. So one plus two, right? One plus two equal to three. Sum for n equal to two. See what n equal to two? What becomes zero 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 one and one zero? These are the three strings, right? So it has become three, right? Sum equal to three. So again. For n equal to 3, what we are going to do? For n equal to 3. For n equal to 3, 1 count. What is 1 count? Right? 1 count becomes 0 count. So 0 count earlier was? 0 count earlier was? Uh, 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 yeah, it was 1. Right? 0 count earlier was 1. Let me see. 2. Right? So... Yes, one count. Yes, 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 right. So, so for n, uh, for so for the previous n, zero count was two, right? Zero count was two, right? For, for the previous n, that is two, zero count was two. So we are putting it right because for n equal to three, see, zero count, one count has become two now. What we are doing simply, we are taking the previous strings ending with zero, zero count, right? And what is zero count? Sum, sum. That is, see, there are three strings forming, right? Three strings forming. So two and this one, three. So this sum is anyways three, right? Three we had calculated. So zero count equal to uh, sum, right? And then sum equal to one count, two plus three, right? Two plus three equal to five. See, five strings are forming. Five strings are forming. Again, now, now what is, uh, what is zero count here first? What is zero count? Zero count is what? Uh, three. Right? One count is two and sum equal to five. Right? Now, if we now if we go to n equal to four, right? n equal to four. So what we are doing? We are uh, assigning zero count to one count. Zero count to one count, right? So if you see one count has become three, right? Here one count has become three, right? Three, see three. Zero count has become the sum five. Zero count has become five. See if you see one, two, three, four, five, and sum becomes three plus five, eight, right? 
sum becomes 8, right? So in this way, we'll proceed and we'll just return sum. And one thing, the answer can be big. So we have to take mod, mod right? And to take mod of sum every time, okay? So this is the solution I hope you have got, right? Simply, yes. So I've explained this only. Let's Let's submit the solution. Hey, thanks for watching. The solution is accepted. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.